there was a fisherman in Shetland called Luggy. He went to sea with his companions in a long narrow boat with a mast and sail. They might be out for days at a time if the fish were not present. Sometimes a terrible hunger would come on them. Luggy had a basket in which he kept a line with a wee lead weight in it. And when they were starving and not a fish was to be had, the whole wide ocean he would drop his line over the stern of the boat and let it out to its full extent. When he pulled it in, there would be a cod or a place, fresh grilled and steaming, on the end of the line. He would unhook the fish and share it with his mates. None of them knew how the fish came to be cooked like that, and they did not ask. They were famished, and the smell was irresistible. Luggy had another trick. He liked to play in stormy weather. When he couldn't get out to sea, his house was on the edge of the moor, and he would go to a place where there was a deep, dark hole in the pear and let the line down through it. Pull up a smoked trout or a salmon and take it back to his wife. She preferred a rabbit, but she didn't complain. Apart from anything else, there was no pans to clean. This all happened a long time ago, and nobody would believe you if you told such a story nowadays. But back then, people were ignorant and believed all kinds of nonsense. Had Luggy told them, however, that there were billions of gallons of oil at the bottom of the same sea he fished, and that the oil could be brought to the service and used for cooking, heating, manufacturing, powering vehicles, and many other purposes. They'd have shaken their heads at him. No, no. Especially he'd gone to explain that it would all be used up in less than a lifetime. Every last drop. Aye, that'll be right, they'd have said. Fetch us another fish supper, Luggy.